And still on the Arise Fashion Week, President Muhammadu Buhari says his administration will focus more on policies and programs that will assist Nigerian youths to realize their potentials. President Buhari, in a speech delivered at the Arise Fashion Week in Dubai, commended the organizers of the Fashion Week for showcasing Nigeria's fashion and arts to the world. In the speech delivered by the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Ni Adebayo, President Buhari says the Arise Fashion Week is a testament to how Nigerians are working hard and constantly innovating to improve the lives of the people while opening up the nation's economy and encouraging foreign investment to ensure economic growth and progress for citizens. We are at the World Expo in Dubai showcasing Nigeria amongst the world's best across all fields of endeavor. The signals we can begin to see is the emergence of our youth as the best in the world of creativity, culture, music, film, fashion, and technology. By the year 2050, Nigeria will be the third largest country by population in the world. Our challenge is thus to turn that challenge into a blessing for the people of Nigeria and the world. As president and father of the nation, I am here to tell the world that the foundations of the new Nigerian century has begun. We're here to sell our music, our film, our fashion, and our youth. We're here to tell the world that there is unity in our diversity and that our young people are working together to make the world a better place. In collaboration with the Nigerian Pavilion and the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, the Arise Fashion 2021 is showcasing Nigerian fashion and music at this World Expo with fashion from around Nigeria. I'm here to support this initiative and celebrate all our young people around Nigeria and the world today. We are here to celebrate the best of Nigerian culture as we unleash the power of youth for a new positive image for Nigeria. That is why we call on all young people to be law-abiding in whatever country they find themselves, to seek the power of their creativity and hard work to make the world a better place. They must eschew violence, drugs, cultism, fraud and other criminality and use their God-given talent to build a new world order. At the same time, as a listening government, we will do all we can to ensure equity and justice for all Nigerians against all forms of brutality. And to discuss these developments and the implications of the Nigerian economy, let's bring in a rise analyst and uh, a professor of mass communication at the Bayes University, Abiodun Adini. Thanks for joining us. I, I was, you know, looking out to see you at the runway of the Arise uh, Fashion Show. Was superb. <laughs> <laughs> Superb event, you yeah. understand, that attracted uh, the cream de la cream yeah. worldwide. The president uh, was there, although represented because Many of the exigencies yeah. of what. But one common denominator you can deduce from uh, the Arise Fashion Week is that uh, the theme centers around Nigeria, Nigeria becoming the economic hub of the world yeah. in another 25 or so years. What are your thoughts along yeah, these Yeah, it's lines? a possibility because we have the potentials, we have the population, we have the resources if properly harnessed. And of course, uh, there are the chances that if um, we have visionary, you know, um, leaders with missionary policies who can bring this about. It is about policy shifts, you do know, policy directions and the determination to implement um, those policies. The potentials are there, the population is there, you know, for us to um, proceed further, harness the required resources to achieve these, um, these expectations. And of course, um, the president was right, speaking to the Minister of Information, a cultural, Industries. the Minister of Industry, I beg your pardon. Um, a cultural event like this is an exposition, you know, it's part of the brand building process. And of course, the president is the number one brand builder of any nation. Our president has lived up, has lived up to that expectation. But of course, we also have to move the way, move away from the routinization, you know, um, from ceremonial speech making 
to execution, to implementation, to action. And it's not just about mouthing things, but also implementation matters, you know, because regionalization has been a lot in many decades, not just a peculiar to the president. But on this stage that they are in, the Dubai Expo, it's okay, you know, for us to uh, cash, on, cash in on that uh, pedestal to expose ourselves in line with, you know, the increasing decenteredness of the world, you know, and of course, the place that Dubai occupies, you know, in the global scheme of things, as a global city, significant in the kingdom of, kingdom of things, even, you know, um, surpassing the traditional centers of power in the West, you know, uh, making a, cre creating attention for ourselves through the Rise Fashion Week, uh, through the presentation of the president, you know, are salutary measures. But I'm asking that we should move away you know, from mouthing things, you know, from just pronouncement uh, to implementation and a conscientious um, determination to see that, you know, policy directions are properly um, executed. And Abiyadun Adeni, it's like um, uh, the chairman of this day, mm -hmm. Arise Media Group, Prince Sunduka uh, Abayagben, has seized, you know, these potentials to turn to reality using art and culture mm -hmm. as a driving force to attract, you know, not just tourism yeah. and the rest in music, in fashion and what of you, but as a um, sine qua non, mm -hmm. if I may use that yeah. word, um, as a linchpin yeah. for the economic growth of this country in another two decades. Look, Christian, I can't agree with you more because arts and culture is a very powerful pedestal you know, to the stimulation of economies and to growth and development, you know, because it has a very huge fan base. It has a way of, uh, you know, um, attracting attention, um, attracting income, participation, you know, involvement and inclusion. And of course, walking through that pedestal is um, a very salutary um, yeah, measure that any individual or any organization or government can take, you know. And of course, this is not the first time uh, my rice chairman, this chairman is going to um, step on this uh, platform. You know, he's been consistent uh, in diversification. And of course, uh, co working through the prism of arts and culture is another, is a welcome development that like we have said. We can overemphasize this point, but it also speaks to private and public sector uh, participation. Um, um, having the president coming in through the Minister of Industry, um, his consistency as well, is, is, is of course, is, is, is also in line with some of the measures, some of the things that works for development. It's not a one sector affair, it's a multi stakeholder. Um, endeavor where you have uh, all sectors of the economy coming of the society together. coming together, partnering and teaming up for development. Uh, exactly what the governor of uh, uh, the Central Bank of Nigeria, you know, said that uh, that uh, Arise Fashion Week at the uh, 2020 Dubai Expo that one more funds are being committed, you know, uh, for creativity or for the creative industry. Uh, because of uh, the enormous GDP that uh, it uh, grows the economy with, and uh, two, collaboration with the Bankers Committee that uh, hopefully by this time in 2023, the uh, National Theatre, which is the pride of uh, Nigeria's artistic uh, centerpiece, would have been completed and it will have no less than four uh, segments where more creative energy will be uh, driven on. Yeah, yeah, it's a um, welcome development when we hear some of these uh, pronouncements that look very promising. And um, we're not short of pronouncements, but what matters is the action that comes after those kind of pronouncements. And you cannot downplay the place of creativity in the 21st century, um, where creativity has actually defined our essences. Um, creativity is not just limited to arts, entertainment, or culture. It's also evident in, in technologies of communication, technologies of doing things, and we know uh, the place those, that sector is playing, you know, in the stimulation of world economy, in the in integration of the world, and in the generation of resources far beyond the Western world, you know. Um, so it's just high time that nations that are concerned about development key into this process. And I'm happy that Nigeria is waking up where we're gradually uh, coming into this realization. Um, 
far beyond public sector effort to private sector effort, as exemplified in the uh, in the endeavors of or in the trials and in the efforts of uh, Arise Chairman. But we also need continuity, Christian. It's not it shouldn't just be a celebratory thing um, where we hold ceremonies, um, uh, do shows, make very beautiful speeches, and it ends there. Let's have um, a processual. Um, attempt. Let's have uh, these things. Let's have evidence of implementation, evidence of process um, towards um, realization of our dreams and vision and mission consistent with a cardinal objective. And of course, don't, do not forget that we also have economic development plans. What do we do with these plans? You know, um, is it just a paper thing, something that uh, we just put on paper and nothing else comes out of it? But the opportunities are there for us to harness because the platforms are there, platform of, of technology, wow. platform of arts, um, culture, you know, entertainment, robust sectors. And do not forget the place of the youth as well. The youth board is upon us. The youth are increasingly very conscious. They are ventilating, you know, and they are ready to explode. We have them at plenty. We can harness these as resources. Yeah, they just have to continue to explode very positively and the rest. And uh, Nigeria will be a real great place to be. Professor Abiodun Adeni, thanks so very much uh, for coming. Arise News Analyst and Professor of uh, Strategic Communication, Bayes University.